No, I owe you for the information on the clinic and the reinvestment advice. From now on, emerging markets will figure prominently in my portfolio. It's a gamble, but when it pays off, it's well worthwhile. And the clinic was what you were looking for, was it? Listen, I haven't mentioned it to Rachel yet, but I believe it is. Can we have the same again? Yeah, sure. I believe you've met the Dingles. <laughs> I'd never have believed that people could live like that. How do they survive? Well, they do say if ever there's a nuclear war, one of the few surviving species will be the cockroach. And what's the betting that they're eaten by the remaining Dingles? <laughs> right. Well, you go through to the back room with, with Terry. It's all right. All right, come on. Off. It's something of nothing, but uh, Terry will sort it out. Sorry, for you were saying. I was saying what a shock it was turning round and finding that Betty woman standing behind me. Did I hear my name mentioned? I'm worried to death about Scott. He's been fighting. And I'm worried about this army thing. And, and as well. That woman has tidied all my clothes away. That woman is paid to tidy. She's rearranged my underwear drawer, Steve. By now all the village will know what kind of knickers I wear. What makes you think anyone will be interested? You didn't see that dingle guy that gave me a lift. Now, if any of my underwear goes missing off the washing line. Oh, I came here for supposed peace and quiet. It's never a minute. Hi. Rachel, come in. Good to see you. I can't stop. Oh, what a shame. What can we do for you, then? Uh, remember the Sugdens? Oh, how could I forget them? I've been slept in the five-star barn. <laughs> well, we're having a meal for them tomorrow night. Wonder if you and Fairy Light's come along. Oh, we'd love to. Oh, great. See you about eight o'clock? Fine by us. Brilliant. See you later. Bye, Fairy. Bye. Bye. You'd no right to say yes without asking me first. She's offering us a meal and a pleasant evening out. What's wrong with that? I don't call a pleasant evening out being stuck out with a crowd of smelly farmers. I'm going to go see what that Betty's done to the rest of my clothes. 